Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I keep saying that I'm gonna do a YouTube shorty video and then I end up doing a full length video. So I'm gonna go for it today and see if I can actually make a short video and not talk for too long. So today I wanted to talk about Zoom toggle. So basically to turn Zoom toggle on and off, you can go to this button here and you can click it to go into and out of Zoom Toggle. And the shortcut to go in and out of Zoom Toggle, if you have keyboard commands focus mode on, which you can see here I do have, because this A to Z button icon, whatever you want to call it, is lit up orange. That means my keyboard commands focus mode is on. So if that's on, then you can hit E to go into and out of Zoom Toggle. Or if that's not on, or if you don't feel like using the shorter shortcut, you can do Control and then E if you're on a Mac. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's start E if you're in Windows, but maybe someone can let us know in the comments below. So that's how you use it. That's how you go into and out of it. But basically zoom toggle can be really handy if you're moving around in a session and let's say you want to zoom in really quickly on some kind of small short sound, you can highlight it and then you just hit E and you can zoom right into that to edit it on a more detailed zoomed in setting. And then when I wanna see it in context or hear it in context, I can then hit E really quickly to go out of here and then hit play. So that's kind of what it's good for. And you'll notice when I hit zoom toggle, if I highlight a section here, then it'll zoom in on that section. If I highlight a shorter section, it zooms in on that, right? Um, if I just place my cursor, it zooms in on the cursor. So it's just deciding how to zoom it in. But the fact that when I then zoom in on this track using zoom toggle, it's making this track like the fit to window height, the full height here, that is actually a setting. If you go to setup and then preferences, you can go to the editing window. And then here we have zoom toggle options. So you can actually set a few different options. And basically what I do is I change this to fit to window height so that it'll zoom in on my track in addition to zooming in in terms of time. And I just chose fit to window to make it fit to the window each time, but you can make it different heights as well. So if you're looking to have your zoom toggle work in a different way, there are a few options here that you can mess with, you know, depending on your workflow, how you like it. But yeah, I actually wanna do a shorty video today, so I'm not gonna go into all the details of this right now. I just wanted to show you guys what Zoom Toggle is, how I find it useful, how you go into and out of it, and then also the fact that you can change some preferences here for it within the editing tab of our preferences page. So yeah, that's it. That's the basics of Zoom Toggle. So I hope you guys find this useful. Let me know if you guys use this feature at all in Pro Tools, and let me know what you guys use it for. If you use it for any other purpose than what I outlined here, I'd love to hear from you guys about that. So yeah, I hope you guys found this useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I come out with new videos. And if you want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. And patrons do get access to additional content there on my Patreon page. So check that out. I'll be coming out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for watching. Okay.